Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Nick Games. Uh, I'm going to show you all a quick tip and trick for Soul Rot and Drain Life. The synergy between Inevitable Demise and how you can kind of get a little bit more damage from using this in a very specific way. So basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your stacks up to 50, right? So let's build the stacks. Building them up, building them up. Building them up. Almost there. Almost there. Just gonna reapply agony, make sure you know I don't drop stacks. Okay. So normally if you soul rot into drain life, it'll channel three times on the mobs uh, with the soul rot on it, right? So there's 204k, right? So that's not too bad. But there's a there's a trick where if you drain life instantly after using soul rot, you'll get an extra channel tick out of it. Now let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's get Soul Rot back off cooldown. Let's get it back off cooldown here. I already have our stacks, so that's good. Uh, for y'all that don't know, um, whenever you UA, Unstable Affliction, uh, each tick of UA will lower the CD of Soul Rot by one second per tick. So that's how like, it gets ticking down so fast. So, now this trick is you Soul Rot, Instantly into a drain life, it'll channel one. Right before that drain life ends, you channel again, and then it'll channel all three. Now, you see the do you see the damage difference? It's about 45 to 50k increased damage. Because what's currently happening is when you use drain life right after soul rot, the drain life is quicker to hit the mob before soul rot is actually um, shown to the players buffs and debuffs so you drain life the one target you're currently targeting and then before the next channel is done so like drain life so like right before it hits the end you drain life again and then it will tick for the same damage amp from inevitable demise on the target that you recasted it on and all of the mobs that your soul rod is currently afflicting so it's not a game-breaking bug, but if you're trying to min-max, it's definitely something useful to know. Because instead of doing 200k damage on the three targets that Soul Rot's on, you're doing about 260k. So anyways, uh, as always, thank you for watching. And if there's anything else uh, you guys want to know, anything you guys have questions on, uh, feel free to ask in the comments below. Uh, like and subscribe if this uh, stuff is helpful to you. And uh, I'll see you guys later. All right.